Is it too late to plant here in the fall season? Come along with me and let's find out. Hello, my friends. Well, this week's vlog finds me back home here in Colorado. You can tell by the changing of the leaves. And uh, today we are going to plant something I wasn't expecting to plant when I got home. On Saturday, I shared with you the new create Saturday Creative Sessions, which started this past Saturday. And I gave a tour of my garden during that session and how what it what it's like right now so if you haven't seen that take a look i was delighted to come home from san diego to find that uh, we hadn't had a frost and everything's looking good now the 10-day forecast is showing that probably a week from now we will get that first frost of the year so i'm a little late in getting some last minute planting done but i wasn't expecting it and i'll show you why let me turn the camera around and let you know what's happening in the front zen garden this week. Okay, so I've got my girls here this week, Abby and Luna helping me out. But here's what we're looking at. So yesterday we went to go get some paint for the she shed and I'll be sharing that whole she shed redo with you next week. But uh, when we got to Home Depot, surprise, surprise, they were having 50% off on all their shrubs. And I have this bed that I was gonna do as part of the she shed redo. I was gonna put this in front of the she shed, but it was too much. It was too big, too round. We have a, a couple of other round planters there. Our gazebo's round. Well, it's kind of octagon, but you know, that just that whole shaping. So we decided, you know what? So I moved it around different places and I thought, well, why don't we come out to the front to, the, to what is our Zen garden? out here in our front yard. I've been unloading dirt out of the car. And uh, so we played around with it and decided there was already a round element going on right here. And um, so I'm gonna cut back this. These are uh, crab apple trees and I'm gonna cut that back a little bit, get the branches up higher. I've got my wheelbarrow to help me get up all these rocks right here. And then I've got, of course, my snippers to snip how I need to do. And then some of this, again, I can use in the bottom of the, of the container so that I don't have to use as much topsoil. I do have what do I have? I have three bags, four bags. There's still one left in the car of topsoil. And then um, I have some always, I always can't resist pansies. I don't know about you, but I don't know if I'm going to put them in this bed or not. But I've got these four green gem boxwoods. And again, they were all 50% off. I could not not do something. And it gave me a whole, I love it when a good sale gives you a good idea on how you can either redecorate in the inside or plant on the outside. And then this is a um, beautiful, look at these leaves are just gorgeous. It is a, let's see if I get this up here, a big leaf hydrangea. And uh, look at those flowers. They're absolutely gorgeous. And I cannot wait for that. So um, I'm going to put this in the middle of the boxwoods and, uh, the light will be perfect here and uh, but I have to get all of this out of here to get it done that's my biggest part of my job I think is getting all of this out of here so I am uh, without further ado Luna what do you say should we get it done yeah all right let's do it
see over here, Abby and Luna have decided to help me out. And uh, yeah, <laughs> tearing the twigs apart. So I could actually, if I wanted to, go ahead and um, put the bed right on these rocks. But one is, is I want to use some of the rocks for the project back by the she shed. The other thing is, as you can see, there is a pretty heavy duty plastic tarp underneath this and I want to get that out so that we can have good drainage for the bed. So that's what I'm going to be doing next. First, I'll take my first load back. It fits right in there perfectly. And I left a few rocks down there just for some extra drainage. It's amazing how hard this has been covered up for many, many, many years and uh, under that plastic. And uh, the ground is pretty hard, but we're gonna be adding a lot of soil. So yeah, I think it looks good. I will take whatever uh, Abby and Luna have left over there for us and put it in the bottom. Again, these are but one nice thing about using these bigger gallon tanks is tanks, uh, these bigger gallon, uh, I can't talk, that was a lot of work, uh, plants is just that it, they will take up more room so I'll need less dirt, but I will put some, I'll cut up some branches and put them here in the bottom of the bed. So with that, we will get back to it. So let me show you, that's about as many leaves as I'm going to, and branches as I'm going to put in there. I have a bunch of leaves everywhere that I could put in there, but I'm not going to. I'm going to do that and uh, leave the rest for Abby and Luna. And uh, let me go ahead, maybe I'll bring this up a little closer as I do the dirt. Let me get my camera over here. So you can see what I'm doing inside of there. Okay, so now comes the dirt. Like I said in last week's video, doing my daughter's garden that uh, definitely need muscles to be a gardener. And it's just such great exercise, keeps you fit. I also do strength training. Uh, three times a week and get out on my bike and do a lot in that. I don't know. Maybe this isn't going to be enough. Holy mokey. I might have to go get more dirt. <sighs> um... put in more but I don't want to because they are going to be deep so we'll see so 
so you can see this is what it's looking like with one bag of dirt and these are what is the size of this bag there again uh these are it's one cubic foot or one cubic feet uh, of dirt so i think i underestimated what i'm gonna need again i can't go too because these plants are going to go in so deep i can't put in too much filler on this particular one where last week I was able to do, you know, a lot more fill because I was just putting, it's just an annual bed because my daughter is going to use it more for that, for food and veggies and that kind of thing. All right. Well, there's two bags. So if I have these in here, let's see. All right, I'm back with four more bags of topsoil. And I don't think I mentioned it in this video. I've mentioned it in several others, but I always just get whatever the garden center's topsoil is. It always works well in uh, raised beds and it's so much cheaper than if you buy something for raised beds. It's sometimes double and triple the price. And I got something else while I was there because I got my extra bonus points at my local uh, nursery, which is a flower bin. And uh, they give you extra points for money spent. And I hit my ding, ding, ding with these four bags. So uh, it was all meant to be. I feel good about it. I'll show you what it is in just a sec. Okay, so we got the dirt. Trying to keep my momentum going. I'm getting a little tired because time has passed, you know. But let's go ahead and get these bags of dirt in. Get the plants you know, they say that you should uh, do two times the hole, but we, weren't, we don't have to worry about that because this is new dirt, loose dirt. And, uh, but I will get, I think, just this one bag in. And then we'll start filling up just around the plants. We'll see where this goes. I have um, compost, our compost blend that we have, that we get every season. We usually get a big trailer full and it'll last us all season. So I'm gonna put that in the bottom of each one and then I'll layer the top as well. All right, here we go. <laughs> it's just happy back in there again. Okay. All right. sunrise this morning and uh, I wanted to share with you that I did finish this project up yesterday. Pansies ended up here with the gourd. Kind of cute, isn't it? And uh, here is our finished boxwoods. Uh, there was a birdie up in the birdhouse here just a second ago. And it's one thing I wanted to talk about this morning is I really wanted to make this a haven for the birds. Ed did get a little bit more dirt on his way home from the golf course yesterday. I'll fill that in today and put a little uh, bark on the top of it. One thing, I have planted this a little late 
because we're supposed to get our first freeze next weekend. I should get a lot more weeks in this, but um, it is what it is, right? I got it in and hopefully it'll be fine and protected by the trees in here. But right in here is our, our my meditation room. It's our sunroom in our house. I don't know if you can see it. I'm still in my jammies doing this this morning. <laughs> Um, but so I can see this from my meditation spot. And it's one of the reasons I wanted to do this as well, because these are evergreens, they get down to minus 30, uh, according to their tags. So that will be fantastic. And, uh, including the hydrangea, which is amazing. But by having the bird feeder here, the bird bath, I really want to make this a a bird friendly area and I'll share a picture here but I just came down here and uh, there was a bird up in the birdhouse and I'm like okay this is a good sign that they're welcoming welcoming us into this new planter and uh, yeah so that is that let me see if I can share this morning's sunrise with you it was really Quite lovely, not quite as beautiful as it was a minute ago, but still nice. So that's what I wanted to share with you for this week with our new boxwood planter. Taking a look at the garden, our Zen garden from this side. Just a meditative space that replaced our front lawn and uh, probably about, mm, I wanna say eight or nine years ago and uh, it has been just a beautiful thing. Since then, we balance rocks here, and uh, my son is a rock balance artist that travels around doing that, and uh, so this is my honor, honoring of him by having these rock balances here. I don't need, I'll put a, a link to his work on this page. I see my dog is wandered off across the street, so I gotta go get her. But um, yeah, he does amazing, amazing balances. I am quite the amateur at that. So I'm gonna go get Abby, who's wandered off. Thanks for joining me this week, and uh, here's to many years enjoying our boxwoods. Onward we grow. Until next week, be sure to subscribe, do all those good things. It helps this channel to grow, and I will see you soon. Thanks for growing with us, and we will see you next time. And in the meantime, be sure to like, comment, let us know what really resonated for you in this video, and then of course be sure to subscribe at no cost to you and be updated when we have new videos up to play.